How do you stay inspired to keep your designs fresh and relevant? Yeah, you know what? That's an easy question because Bliss itself is an innovative product where we are taking a high-end custom design and we're making it so that it's scalable for investors, spec builders, inner city. How do you ensure clear communication with both stakeholders and clients alike? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's been lots of times over the years that I have had challenges with the city of Calgary where they're interpreting bylaw or they're interpreting structural requirements differently. Um, and so when we actually break it down and we go through that, I have enough knowledge to actually, you know, go back and argue with them or debate it. How do you manage budgets while not sacrificing quality? I think when you're uh, looking at building and you want to make sure that you're being cost effective when you're building, there's things like, you know, making sure that you're not using too many custom aspects in the design, making sure that the building itself, you know, is stacked, building methodologies, that you're using, uh, you know, fairly simple construction details and that kind of stuff, just to make sure that you're not doing anything outside of the envelope and that you're, uh, you know, making sure that your costs are predictable. As we know, in today's environment, it's becoming more and more difficult for builders to become and maintain their profitability. So what are you recommending from a design perspective to ensure profitability for the builder? I think when I'm talking to a builder about design advice, typically it depends on the approach for the project. If they're looking at building custom, then obviously you're trying to get the, 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 the vision and the dream of the client in that home. If you're building spec or investment, you're trying to make it so that it's scalable, repeatable, cost-effective, but also still has the amazing aspect of a custom design build.